Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris, my very good friend, Anthony Cafiero. That's right. Boom. How are you, Anthony? I'm good. I'm hanging with Harris, man. You are hanging with Harris. Good to see good you. Good to have you in the kitchen. I love being in the kitchen. We're at Tabla here in Portland. Now, we've been in Portland, and every chef we've been working with, everyone's from New York. That's how it is. They must I, love Portland. I guess. Something going on in Portland, I guess, right? <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about Tabla. Uh, Tabla's been around for nine years. It kind of went through a few transitions of small plates and had really interesting cuisine to begin sure. with, and now it's back to that, uh, but it's always had a pasta program. Today we're not going to do pasta. Yeah, the hell with pasta. Whatever, but what we do do is uh, we have a three-course menu. Sure. It's priced at $28 to begin with, which is like way cheap for Portland and for anywhere, really. <laughs> uh, and it goes salad, app, uh, pasta in the middle course, and then like the entree, sure. the protein entree to finish. Almost all of our stuff is locally sourced. Portland, Northwest, all that stuff yeah. is so easy to get. Uh, and I just got some brand new nettles. Uh, this is like the, some of the first of the season. So we're gonna make a little nettle salsa for our Washougal, Washington lamb loin. So where, yeah, we, where are we gonna start? We need some heat, we need some pans. Let's rock so it I'm out. I'm gonna start you up. Yeah, let me. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Now, I wanna talk to you about how the circulator works. I, I wanna learn how the circulator works. Yeah, so works. the idea is that you can portion something perfectly as far sure. as proteins go, cook them perfectly, and then when you wanna pick it up for, for dinner service, like for sure. me in the kitchen to get you the diner. Right. It takes a certain amount of time to cook something from rare or raw. Now it does it, right. and it can be perfectly portioned every time, so it's all consistent. Want to sear some lamb? I do. Now it's feel that. What's that feel like? Mid-rare meat. Yeah. It's not perfect. cooked through, not no, tight. No. So when we're talking about flavor components and what, what we do at yeah. Tabla, I like to think about. Let's think about lamb and horseradish and mint, something like my mom might have had. Let's think sure. about these kind of elements. So we'll add a few garnishes right. that are those flavors. I have a little horseradish, I have a little mushroom, but they're gonna be in a more modern way of application. And this is just gonna get a sear. Yep. This we're already basically medium rare inside. Yep, it's perfect. Right now. It's ready to go. As no more cooking to do, just we're gonna give it a little Maillard reaction on the outside, right. a little sure. caramelization. So we just did all the work in the sous vide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So one of our first flavor elements I wanted to add to this plate is okay. uh, it's a little porcini. We get local porcinis in the Pacific Northwest and they get dried. Okay. It'll make a little porcini cream here <laughs> okay. out of the charger. And that, you have that in the sous vide as well, just so it's in that perfect temperature? Yeah, it's just nice and warm. So it's all airy and bubbly. So let's put our beans down. So go ahead and use your towel there. And I got a spoon for you here. Not even that hot, but we're good. Nice. Just a nice little line of beans. I would do my very best. I don't know, it looks pretty good. All the way across? Yeah, why not? All right, chef. We're gonna do a landscape dish. I'm gonna drop our little salsa verde down here on there. Beautiful. It's a great looking dish. Beautiful. There's a little slice that's been resting. Oh, yeah. I mean, we sear this for like a minute and a half, two minutes, and it's just done. Maybe, yeah. We're gonna drop a few of these. I'm gonna stand one up here. Oh, it's like a little forest. This is actually a little horseradish. A little horseradish here. Just to give it a little heat, a little. Yep. little bit of bite. Finish it with a little finishing salt. And we are good. All right, it looks beautiful, but I really want to know. I had a little bit of a snack, but I want to get the whole thing, the whole sensation, the whole taste in my mouth. So, Anthony, let's eat it. Luckily for you, we like eating food as much as we like exactly. cooking it. Exactly. It's even better. So, can we dig in here? Let's Absolutely. Give it a go. All right, so let's give this a go. It's just like that perfect medium rare. It's radish. It's so well balanced. I mean, you even get that little bit of a heat from the horseradish. Yep. And you really taste the porcinis in the foam. Because people were like, well, I can't taste that, but it's like, it tastes like you have sliced mushrooms up and down the Exclusively, whole thing. Exclusively, yeah. There's a good amount of lemon juice going on, so we have lemon and, oh lemon and lamb are best friends. Beans and lamb, lemon and beans, all these things like are happy, happy I don't know that lemon and lamb are best friends, but now I think that they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Lemon, mint, lamb. It's such a nice, light dish. The beans with the salsa verde, oh my god. I'm going to have one more in the lamb because this Go is too it. good. And this is one of the, like, this is like the size that we do at Tabla because of the three course menu. It's like all, it's very manageable, so you get a lot of flavors throughout your your one dinner. Would you do a little pasta before this? And then close you'd you'd have this? a little pasta before this and a little salad before that. It's really sensational. It looks good, but it tastes even better. So I'm chewing, I'm talking at the same <laughs> time, but I'm happy. That's what we do. So Portland, Tabla, Anthony. Thank you, brother. It. Cheers. You got Me it. Me too. Boom.